I just finished plumbing this whole thing up. If you want to tag along with me throughout the whole video, that'd be cool. But I know sometimes when you find these YouTube videos, they take forever to tell you what you know. So first thing I'll do is I'll give you a general rundown of how it works. If that's what you're looking for, we'll get you set. So the whole point of a proportioner is to be able to change the percentage of your mix of SH or degreaser, whatever you're using the 12 volt for. Instead of batch mixing, throw in half bleach, half water in a tank to get 50-50, this proportioner will do that for you. Let's say you want it 50-50, right? Here's your water. You're gonna open it up halfway. You're gonna open up this halfway. Do not let all these hoses scare you to death. If you break it down, it is fairly simple to do this. It's really not that hard. If I can do it, you can do it, I promise. You're here for the plumbing, so here we go. You likely have a Remco or an Everflow, right? If you have something different, it'd probably be similar. On the bottom of the Everflows, it has an arrow for the outlet. We'll start here. This outlet, you will run a hose, whatever your preference is, straight over to your hose reel swivel if you're running it through your hose reel. If not, you may get some quick connects on the end of your hoses and do it that way. But that is the simplest way. Run it straight to your hose reel through the swivel. Now to the inlet. To not confuse yourself, imagine this hose is just running to a bucket of water, right? You dip it in the bucket of water, you turn it on. It's gonna pull the water out to your hose. So we're gonna pull from your proportioner. So this hose is just pulling all of these into the pump to go out to your reel. We'll start with the water. My water hose is running down. I have it going through the middle, so I have some uniseals. All right? Mine is running up over Oh gosh, over and down into my tank. I just have another uniseal right there. I have just some PVC pipe that I put the hose through. Make sure it's in the bottom of the tank so it can pull water. There's a better look for you. That's the water hose going down. For your soap line. Just a quarter inch, because you're barely going to use any soap. Some surfactant on a roof, right? So my hose, just a quarter inch, runs down. And I just have a five-gallon pail that I throw it into. And that's what pulls the surfactant. Your bleach or degreaser, whatever you choose, likely SH. This is the line that I have running down. Comes up. This is the bottom one, is the SH, right? Runs over, goes down into my SH tank. And the same thing as water. Just a PVC pipe with an angle on the bottom. Runs down, make sure it stays straight and is in the bottom of the tank. You can do this a whole lot more simple with less hose. Yes, this is a bit bougie and over the top, but I'm trying to do this trailer right. It's not that hard, it really isn't but a good breakdown is always helpful. I had my welder cut up a piece of metal to frame up on the trailer to mount this stuff. Uh, that's not how it looked before. I just had it on the tank. I'll put some video or a picture somewhere right here right now. This will give you a good idea of what we're gonna do. We're gonna run all this one half ID hose. This is gonna be a quarter inch for the soap. So this one is bleach, soap, water, right? And so we're gonna plumb all that to this 12 volt pump. My plan is, now it may change once I get into it, it may turn out to be a mess. Run the hoses down. I've got some uniseals from Home Depot. Not all my, all right, here we go. These uniseals, I'm gonna run these hoses down. Put a uniseal right here, run the hoses through to make it look nice and neat and then run it to the pump into my hose reel. And then we'll run the 
SH to the SH tank, the water to the water tank, and my soap tank is just a little five gallon pail. I'll bring that over here as well. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the mounting of the pump and the unisils and stuff like that because that's not what you're here for. You're here for the plumbing. So let's get started. All right, so I already have this one mounted, but if you look on the bottom of your pump, at least these Everflows, it has an out arrow. First thing I'm gonna do is run that out to my hose reel and get that out of the way. That way I know what length I have left of the hose. So we're gonna run it from the out port all the way over into this hose reel right here. It's gonna push all the water and SH out of the pump into the hose reel. Although you don't need it, a heat gun is gonna save you a bunch of headache of getting these hoses on these barbs and sliding them in. Otherwise it's a pain pushing them on. But you will need a bunch of hose clamps. Um, I try to double them up on each hose barb. And I've done that that way for quite a while now and it's worked. I always try to plan ahead. If I have to remove this, it's on a side to where it's easily accessible. I'm trying to keep this trailer as neat and orderly as possible. So I'm trying to make it nice and pretty and run it down the railing with some good old zip ties, enough to where I still don't bend where it meets the pump. I'm gonna run it back here and into the hose reel. Gotta get it started, the swivel's moving. Almost. Yeah, I decided not to dual barb them, just use a larger hose bar. We'll see if that works any better. There we go. All right, got my outline, ran to my hose reel. I got some three quarter inch grommets to make a hole to plumb my three quart well it's one half id um pvc hose down into my sh tank it says to drill to one inch so i got a step drill bit gonna stop at one inch put the grommet in there and then run the tubing through I'll try to catch these burrs It fought me a little bit, but it's on there. From my drop stick, I just get some PVC with an angle, drop it in the tank that helps it weigh it down and keep the hose straight. All right, so the unisil was giving me a fit. So we're gonna, I took it out. We're gonna run the hoses back through and then put it back in that way. That's where I'm going with it so far. Obviously, I'm gonna make it a lot more neat. Decided to not go to the bottom, stay on the top. Kind of save some hose, keep this straight and upright. Gonna run it down to that sheet metal right there. All right, so this is the prototype. It's taking me way longer than expected. Sorry if the audio is bad. I got the heater running in here, it's cold. Now I'm about to run the inlet line, do a little unicell here, run it up to the proportioner right here. I run it down and have it right there. Got the unicell drilled. Woo. 
Even with the heat gun, that took some force. This is real life problems of building a trailer. This is gonna be kinked. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to take this off and totally remount it a little further this way. All right, got it moved over. So this won't have so much of a kink when I run it over here and hook it up to this barb. Much better. But now I'm gonna have to take this one off and cut some off of this. I mean, you could leave it, it'll work, but uh, that looks awful. So we're gonna fix that. All right, now I can run the soap or the surfactant. And this is all I had last time was just a five gallon pail uh, to mix the surfactant in. I'm not getting a new one because I've spent too much money on this trailer already. And look, one good thing that has happened so far, look how perfect. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna strap that down right there and that's what that's gonna be. Run a quarter inch. Hose down, put it in a tank. Soap is ran. Got the surfactant line running down into the surfactant tank. Ran out of hose, got some fresh hose. I feel like this project's taking days, probably because it has, because I've been all over the place with this trailer. Finally got new hose in, gonna run the water line to the water tank. It is done. Oh man, that turned out to be a whole lot more than I thought it was gonna be. But I absolutely love it. The next video will be wiring up the pump. We'll do a final little walkthrough. I love it. If you stuck around with me throughout the whole video, Thank you. I appreciate you watching. I hope I helped you with something.